What's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be taking one of these mini PCs and turning it into a retro gaming console. I'll be using an operating system called Batocera. Batocera is an open source operating system that allows you to turn your computer into a retro gaming console. With it, you can play all your favorite classic games on a single platform. So let's get started. I have two mini PCs here. I got them both for pretty cheap. Keep in mind, you can install Bautocera on a lot of different PCs. I just happen to have these two from previous videos. I'm gonna be using the one on the left here. This is a Lenovo ThinkSetter M73P. It's got an i5 4570T and eight gigs of RAM. Okay, so before I get started, I will need a few items. First, I need a hard drive to install Batocera on. I'll be using this 500 gig SSD that comes with a USB to SATA adapter, so I can easily plug it into my PC. Then I'm gonna need ROMs and BIOS files for some systems. BIOS files are required to use some emulators. I can't tell you where to get them, but a search on Google should point you in the right direction. I have this external drive loaded up with ROMs and BIOS files already. I'm also going to need a controller to play games, so I'm going to use this cheap wired controller. And for the initial setup, keep in mind you will need a mouse and keyboard as well. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to move over to my main PC and I'm going to head over to the Bautocera website. And once I'm on the website, I'm going to find the download section, which is on the top. And as you can see here, if you scroll down, you'll see all the different types of devices that you can install Batocera on. It is quite a lot but we're gonna be uh, looking for the desktop version, which is on the top here. So uh, we're just gonna click download over here. And we're just gonna let that download. It may take a few minutes, depending on your internet speed. So after that downloads, I'm gonna need a program to flash the image to my SSD. The program I'm going to be using is called Belena Etcher, I think it's pronounced. I'm going to head over to their website and then I'm going to download the Windows version. And there it is right there. So I'm just going to click download and let that download as well. And once Etcher is downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And you're going to see these options right here. So now I'm going to click Flash from File and find the Batasara image that I downloaded. Now I'm going to plug in that SSD into my PC like this. It doesn't look pretty, but it works. And then I'm going to click Select Target and choose that 500 gig SSD here. And click Select. If you get this warning, you could just ignore it. Now it's going to flash the Batocera image onto my SSD. It'll take a few minutes, so just let it do its thing. And once the flash is completed, I can go ahead and safely remove the SSD and head on over to my mini PC. Okay, to install this SSD, it is pretty easy. All I'm going to do is plug it in just like this. Um, I should get some screws for the side of the uh, for the side of the hard drive, but I don't have any, so I'm just going to, uh, you know, just leave it in there for now, and I'll get some screws later. 
All right, now I am going to plug this in, power it on, and it should boot right into Batasera because this is the only hard drive in this machine. All right, I've gone ahead and plugged it in, powered it on, and I'm just going to let it do its thing and do its first boot up into Batasera. Okay, I've successfully booted into Batasera. I have my wired controller plugged in and it just recognizes it. I don't need to configure it, but if you do need to configure a controller, it is in the settings menu. And the first thing I wanna do is change the audio output. This way I can hear the audio through my speakers and not the speakers inside the PC. Now there are a few games installed on this, but of course we want to add our own ROMs. So we need to get into the file system first. To do that, hit F1 on your keyboard. Now I've already plugged in my other external hard drive that is filled with ROMs and BIOS files. And uh, what I'm going to do is transfer some ROMs, some games, and some BIOS files over to Batasera. All right, first step is the BIOS files. So I'm going to go click on my external hard drive into the BIOS folder, and I'm just basically going to copy all the BIOS uh, files and then paste them over to the BIOS folder in Batasera. All right, so now I'm going to transfer some ROMs over. And to make this a little easier, I'm just going to um, click View and change it to uh, dual mode. So uh, one side of the screen will be uh, the ROMs folder in Batasera, and the other side will be the ROMs folder on my external hard drive. So this is just going to make it a little bit easier to copy and paste some ROMs over. All right, first I'm going to uh, do some Sega Genesis games. Uh, the left side is my external hard drive, and the right side is the you know, Batasera program itself. Now I'm transferring some Sega Genesis ROMs over to Batasera. Now outside of the US, Sega Genesis was known as Mega Drive, so that's why in Batasera it's, the folder is called Mega Drive. So that might be some, a little confusing to some people, but they are one and the same. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to do PSP games. Just going to do a few games from a few more different systems and then show you guys how to refresh the game list over on Batasera. So I'm just going to fast forward some of this part.
Okay, now that we've transferred a bunch of different games over, uh, you want to close this out. You're going to file and hit close window. And there we go, back in Batisera. And now I'm going to hit start and go to game settings and go to update game list. Hit yes. And now I will see all the games that I added onto uh, Batisera. There's Nintendo, um, GameCube. I have a couple of games. And there they are. Okay, so now I'm going to want to download some images and box art for the games to make everything look just a lot cleaner and better. But first, I have to enable Wi-Fi. So I have to go into network settings and enter in my Wi-Fi information. Once that is done, head over to Scraper in the main menu. Where it says Scrape From, you're going to have a few options here. Screen Scraper is great, but you have to create a username. And I don't want to do that right now. So I'm just going to select the game's DB. And here you could select what type of images you want to download. I'm just going to leave everything the way it is right now. Now, for systems included, I can choose all the systems or just uh, certain ones to download or scrape images from. So for right now, I'm just going to pick Mega Drive. And then from here, I'm just going to click Scrape Now, and you'll see on the top right of the screen, it's downloading or scraping images and box art for me. And now I'm going to have to update my game list in order to see all the box art and images. So I'm just going to do that right now. Game settings, update game list. Hit yes. And there we go. Okay, some are missing here for some reason. But that's okay. I could always fix that later on. Actually, no, I'll show you guys real quick how to just fix that. Okay, here's NHL 94. I hold down A and then go to Scrape. And I'm just going to choose one of these options right here. And then let it download. And there you go. Now NHL Hockey 94 has an image there that I can see. And let's do this for Art of Fighting as well. And there we go. This one took a little longer, but that's okay. There we go.
One other thing I want to show is how to change out the themes. What you want to do is go to updates and downloads in the main menu. And you want to click on theme and it's a bunch of different options for themes here. Um, so yeah, very easy to download. So I'm going to go ahead and install this one. Put it download it might take a few moments. Now to install that theme, I'm just going to go to user interface settings, go to theme set, and I'm going to switch it over. And then come out and it'll uh, change the settings or change the theme that is. And there you go. Looks a lot better this way. All right, now let's try to uh, launch a game. Let's try Aladdin here on Sega Genesis. Alright, now let's try some Nintendo Wii. One last thing I want to mention is in the main menu, there is an option for Kodi Media Center. It's just kind of like a bonus feature that you can also use Kodi within Barracera. I just think it's kind of cool. Um, so it's just a nice option to have. So that's going to do it for this video. Hit that like and subscribe button if you could. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.